Maybe we should talk a little bit about the history of rocketry because it does have a tie here to southern New Mexico. The people here in Las Cruces, they really don't know what they're getting. 240 rail cars filled with V2 stuff were unloaded here in Las Cruces. Beginning in 1946, all that material that came through Las Cruces over to there starts to be tested and assembled. General Electric has the contract. So the first firing of a V2 engine, just the engine, is in March of 1946. In the next month, in April, they actually had a flight of a V2 from the launch complex and didn't do very well. It only went up three and a half miles and they terminated it. However, you gotta give the Army credit, even with that failure, the next month in May, they invited the world to watch through the news media. Everybody's watching and it did exactly what it was supposed to do. So that started the sounding rocket program at White Sands Missile Range.